surgery. Good morning mga langga. So today is Friday and it's already 8.48 in the morning. So inatid na ni Mark si Princess sa school. And now we're off to Norwood. We and we grab some nice breakfast together. Yeah. Um, just a bit of shopping over there. Yeah. And you will do your haircut. Go haircut. Yeah. So I'm working from home today. Yeah, so hindi siya papasok sa office kasi wala naman siyang meeting. Ganyan siya pag um wala siyang meeting and hindi masyadong busy um work from home. So yeah, so parang magde-date na din kami today. <laughs> and then later, uh we'll have some dinner with his brother and partner. Mm -hmm. Kasi hindi sila nakasama sa ano, hindi sila naka-attend sa wedding namin. So Ngayon lang din sila nagka-time na mag-dinner kami. So, yun. Yun yung ganap namin tonight. Have been nice to go out the Rising Pool. Yes. Haven't seen them for a while. Mm. Good to catch up. Well, we've been trying to catch up for months, but he got COVID and his partner, she got COVID. Yeah, hindi sila naka-attend sa wedding went, namin. He went to Bali for holiday and then... And then he went away on a golf trip with us some friends. I mean, so it's just yeah. it's taken a few months. That's right. Ano yung sabihin ko? Hindi sila nakatin kasi nagka-COVID sila nung wedding namin. Kaya wala sila. Well, that's right. They couldn't make it because mm -hmm. unfortunately he caught COVID. It was incredible. It's a shame. It would be nice to have my brother there for my wedding, but... Well, nothing we can nothing do. Nothing we can do about it. That's right. It's, um... Yeah. Anyway... So maybe in a few weeks time yung mga puno na yan uh, mag ano na yan mag bloom. Absolutely. Yeah. When we get back to Bali we, we might start depending on the weather this week the weather, the weather next, the, well unfortunately I heard a long range forecast they're saying this is going to predict to be a wet September. Oh okay. Oh it's disappointing. Yeah. A wet September. Yeah Man, because be it's so still going to be cold. I, and cold weather I okay. think that's what people in the, the Philippines need to understand that when it's wet in Adelaide it's cold. It's not, Very we, don't have, cold. we don't have that heat, hot rain that you guys have. Yeah. Ewan ko kung nakikita nyo yung banda dyan, meron na. Yes. Over, ay, atong ba paano ba? It's just that looking at it, isn't it? They're all blooming. It's nice. Pretty good. Yeah, it's just that. Sa start na sila. So, andito na kami sa Mall Road, mga langga. Maglalakad na kami papunta doon and mag, ano na kami, mag-breakfast. So, may bit-bit akong coffee. What is it? nilagyan ko siya ng collagen powder. What's collagen for love? Beauty. That's how I <laughs> You've really got into your beauty in the last few years, haven't you? Really. Big. No, I'm happy. Happy you are. Tapos lang namin mag-dinner. So, umuwi na yung kapatid niya and then yung partner niya. We did. And kami, uuwi na din kami. So, and naglalakad lang kami dito sa Randall Mall. Maybe magtingin-tingin muna kami sa mga shops. Yeah. No, it's nice to catch up with my brother and uh, his partner. And haven't seen him for a few weeks. So, it's nice to have a bit of a little laksa. So, pumunta curry. kami dun sa lagi namin pinupuntahan. So, naglaksa na naman ako. <sighs> Malamig. Very. <laughs> Bahay na kami mga langga. Maingay yung um, keto. Kasi mag-tea ako. Ewan ko lang kung mag-tea si Mark. 
lamig talaga sa labas. So, pumunta kami ng Lorna Jane and napabili ako na hindi ko dapat bibili. And bumili si Mark ng chocolate. quality ng mga bag sa Forever New. Yeah. Kasi meron akong nagustuhan na um, bag sa David Jones. Pero ang mahal niya, 350 plus. And sabi ko, wag na. Sayang ang pera. So, dito na lang ako sa $50. And sakto lang siya. Meron tong brown. And then, yun nga, duman ako ng um, Lorna Jane. Ngayon na ako nag-shopping, ha? Alam yan ni Mark, hindi ako nag-shopping. Mark knows that I don't no. um, do, do shopping lately. And ngayon lang. So, bumili ako ng sports bra. And... jacket. Kasi naka-sale siya. Kasi kung hindi naka-sale, hindi ko ito bibili. Mahal kasi $160. Pero nabili ko siya ng $99. Uh, pricey pa rin siya. Pero um, good quality naman. So, yan. It's really nice. Yeah, I love it. I love it. And I like the color. Yeah, okay. I can't, I can't get it. So, yun lang. So, yun mga langga. Manunood lang kami ng TV and we're just having our tea. With some chocolate. With some chocolate. Love a little bit chocolate. Pero dark chocolate yung akin kasi ayokong kumain ng milk chocolate kasi pinipimple talaga ako dyan. Yeah. So, dark chocolate lang tayo. So, si Mark pala mga langga, medyo nagsastruggle siya ngayon. Hindi naman super kasi merong um, ano sa kanyang um, yung dito natin banda. So, nung, nung nakalang araw um, pinakita niya sa akin may bukol, there's a lamp and nagpa-check up siya that day din. And sabi ng doktor, meron siyang hernia. I don't know if that's How you pronounce it? Is that right? Hernia, that's right. So yeah, so meron siyang hernia, and kailangan niya ng surgery. Pero hindi naman siya yung ano talaga na surgery. It's 
um, it's a minor one. It's a very minor operation. Yeah. All the hernia is is where a part of the stomach or part of your lower intestine actually pushes through a little bit of the stomach lining. So it, it sort of creates a bit of a bulge. So we've got a lining on our stomach to keep our intestines in mm. and a little bit of the, uh, the bowel, the lower bowel is actually pushed through a hole in, in the stomach lining. So it can happen from going to the gym, walking, exercise. I don't, actually don't know what happened. One morning I woke up a couple of weeks ago and I felt a bit sore in the, in the stomach area. Mm. And I didn't worry about it. Went away for a couple of days, then it came back. And then a few days later, it came back and I had like a half a golf ball size lump. And I went, like oh, no <laughs> this is not good. So went to the doctor. The doctor said, no problem at all. Get it um, checked out and they'll do a minor surgery. It's funny though, I the last time I was in hospital was 20 years ago when I had a, I had a heart attack 20 years ago. Mm, when I was 37 mm. and I haven't been to hospital since so it's funny that happened 20 years later so no it's just a minor day surgery they'll just go into the stomach and they just sort of stitch it up a little bit well it's your 20 years anniversary this year, year this in year. December this year my 20th anniversary so when I'm in the Manila with my darling when I doubt one day we'll go out for a cup of tea or a glass of wine and celebrate <laughs> so when I when I had my heart attack dying I was 11 <laughs> that's crazy yeah. But destiny is unusual sometimes. So no, no, I'm not worried. It's a very minor. It's a minor procedure. Have to be it careful. is minor, but it's a still there. operation. He I've, can feel it, and oh, yeah, no, he I can't do it. a um, very hard workout like lifting heavy weights. So he needs to be careful. Absolutely. I think it's because of that. Because sometimes he's trying new things. Well, I tried new things for our skiing trip. That's what, I think that's what did it. My, I was been near. <coughs> I was uh, doing a lot of squats with weights. I don't lift heavy weights, but I, I think. Because I've done the same routine for many, many years, and I, I've never had a problem. This suddenly happened because I think I introduced some weights routines I haven't done before, and I think one day I just did it, I, but I didn't feel it. What's that? Is that? Is it? Is it like something strain? Popped it's there? like a strain. It's like a strain. Okay. So a bit of this, a bit of the lower bowel has pushed through the um, the sheath. There's a bit of like a, a sheath, a, a film that holds your stomach your, your stomach in, yeah. and a bit of my lower bowel has pushed through it. So when I lay down, it goes, pops back in. When oh, I stand okay. up, it pops out. The problem is if you don't get it operated on, it actually, the lump might get string, what they call strangulated. And it, and then if the supply, air supply gets cut off, it can become what we call gangrenous or infected. If that happens and it pops in two years, because a lot of people don't have operations. Yeah, the, just... the risk is, is if it ever pops or breaks and it's infected, I would be in hospital for weeks because you'd have all this infection pass through your whole body. So no, no, I'm definitely gonna get it done. Yeah, but yeah. But some people don't. And a lot of people have hernias for 20 or 30 years, never have a really? problem. Absolutely. But I mean, I don't want to have a sore stomach, a tender stomach for the rest of my life. No. I'll get, I'm getting it fixed. And also in case, I don't want to be in Manila one day or anywhere in the world, in Bali or Cambodia or anywhere, and this suddenly caused me a massive problem in, in five years time. No, I'm not going to do it, so. Yeah, so he needs to do the surgery when we get You back. come visit me in hospital? You what come, do you mean? You come, and, you come and be there with me on that day? Of course I will be there. I will drive you there. Because I'm not sure whether I need to be put under or not. Because mm. when I had my heart attack, I had, a, I had an operation. They gave me lots of injections to kill the pain. But I didn't. I wasn't put under. I'm not sure if I have to have a. I've never had a general anaesthetic. I've never been put under in my life. Yeah. I'm not sure what I have to find out from the surgeon, or whether they can just give you a spinal block and put some. We'll find out. Well, you come with me to the surgeon, won't you? The opera, when yeah. I have my doctor, yeah, come and listen. I will be there. Diana's not used to me being sick or having a problem. <laughs> oh, it's not sick. This is just a little injury. But it happens to a lot of people. It's very common. It's just yeah, poor happen. Thing. Mm. So, yeah. yes, uh, well, hopefully I won't be in hospital for another 20 years after this. I'll be 77 then. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you, you, you'll be 51 then. Oh my God, you'll be 50. Yeah, I can't, I can't imagine, imagine being, being 51 yet. No, nah, well, you, you can still imagine being in your 20s. You can still remember being 25, not... Yeah. Yeah. Well, I was 24 when I met you. You were. Turning 25. It's a long time ago, back in 2015. Yes, and now seven years. And getting better and better. Exactly. Still in love. Completely. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, maghanap kami ng papanoorin. Ewan ko kung makakapanood kami nito ng um, film. Kasi ayan o. Oh, pinapanood si Mark. Finals daw. Hindi ko naman maintindihan yung laro na yan. 
I think we've got Levi tomorrow for tomorrow night. Yep. Three? Yes. You got one, two, three? Yes. If you kick the yellow ball through the middle, yes. when you got the ball. What's wrong I hit some of Dolly's foot. Hello, mga langga. So, I close ko na yung vlog. So, yun na yung ating vlog today. And tomorrow yung ganap namin. Wala naman masyado. Um, pupunta lang kami ng office niya tomorrow and then may um, ayusin lang kami doon and then magpiprint kami ng mga um, tickets and other stuff namin para sa uh, Bali, yung mga requirements. So, yung aming trip is next week na and it's so exciting. So, hindi pa ako nakapag um, impaki ng mga dadalhin ko. Wala naman ako masyadong dadalhin. Hindi naman ako magdadala ng madaming damit. Um, konti lang naman yung dadalhin ko kasi one week lang naman kami doon. So, yun. Um, Nakaka-excite lang kasi ito yung first time ulit na magta-travel kami ni Mark um, overseas. And first time ni Mark na lalabas ng um, Australia since nagka-COVID. So, yun. Nakaka-excite and super excited na din si Mark kasi matagal niya nang hinihintay ito. So, yun. So, abangan nyo yan mga langka. And ano pa ba yung sasabihin ko? So, yun na. So, isi-share ko lang pala ito. Meron akong libro na binabasa. So, binabasa ko siya uh, before ako matulog. So, at least 30 minutes nagbabasa ako ng libro. And during the day, pag meron akong time, nagbabasa ako. So, ito yung um, binili namin. Last, last week ba namin binili ito? Yeah, itong 12 Rules for Life. Yung kay ano, uh, Jordan, Jordan, Jordan B. Peter Patterson. Ayan. So, meron siyang bagong um, libro na ganito din yung title. Pero, um, basahin ko muna to. Um, tapusin ko muna to and then um, bilhin ko yung um, isa. Yung bago. So, nagbabasa ako ng libro before ako matulog. Hindi na ako nagtitingin ng phone ko. So, ito na yung aking parang yung routine ko every night. Na magbasa ng libro at least 15 to 30 minutes uh, before kami matulog. So, si Mark nanonood pa siya ng TV sa labas. So, ako magbabasa lang ako. And, yeah. So, anyway, i-close ko na tong vlog. So, thank you, thank you so much for watching. And, hope to see you on my next one. And, enjoy life, Anteka. Good night, mga langgas.